back from the other one because they didn't see anything in yours. Okay. That one Hi, good morning. It's still morning. We have eight more minutes of morning. And uh, thank you so much for joining us for Noonday Prayers on the first day in October, October 1st. Uh, so glad you're here. Trying to work, work on our connection here. <clears throat> See if we can get the very best connection to be with you. <clears throat> okay. Better here. Okay. And we have <clears throat> seven more minutes. Oh goodness, Vicky's here. Good morning to you, Vicky. Husband's just what's that for? <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> Husband's just returned from making all of his errands. <laughs> did you get all your errands done? Yes, I did. I did. <laughs> so uh, I hope all of you have gotten. All of your errands done as well this morning. And if not, you have a great afternoon ahead of you to do them. But thank you so much for joining us for New Day <coughs> Prayers. Frida's here. Welcome, Frida. Vicki wants to know if we've seen the new food pantry. No, we need to go down there and see. That's exciting. Wow, oh, we have a new food pantry at St. Louis. Victoria's here. Glad you're here, Victoria. <clears throat> Vicki Kellogg is here.
<clears throat> Patricia's here. We just have one more minute here. So far we have four people joining us for Noonday Prayers. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh O God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The love of God that has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering, for my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And thanks be to God for you for joining us here on Friday, the first day of October. Thank you. Bless you for being here. The, uh, on this feast day, we honor uh, the Bishop of uh, Rennes. Uh, his name is Remigus. Uh, he's a French, a French bishop. Uh, and he was one of the patron saints of France. He was born in probably around 438 and was the son of the Count de Leon. And at the age of 22, he became a bishop. He was noted for his learning and holiness of life. He is chiefly remembered because he converted and baptized King Clovis of the Franks 
on Christmas Day, 496. And this event changed the religious history of Europe. Clovis, by becoming Catholic instead of Arian, as were most of the Germanic people of that time, was able to unite the Gallo-Roman population and their Christian leaders behind his expanding dichotomy over the Germanic rulers of the West and to liberate Gaul from Roman domination. So his conversion also made possible the, the cooperation uh, of the Franks that gave, letter, gave later uh, Pope Gregory the Great in his evangelistic efforts for the English. So certainly Clovis's motives in accepting the Catholic Christianity were probably mixed, but there was no doubt of his sincerity of his decision, nor how important this decision was, particularly in baptizing King Clovis of the Franks, which changed the makeup of Christianity throughout Europe. But I also want to mention today something that has just come out today uh, that many of you may know about. This is uh, Chris Keller's new book. I'm going to make sure I've got it in here. Open new. There we go. Uh, it's called Getting On Toward Home by Chris Keller. It's a, uh, a book of his sermons, and in particular, his funeral sermons. Uh, I want to just tell you a little bit about it from what uh, when I read it. Uh, Chris Keller the third has mastered the formula for combining mind and heart into what he composes. And this is especially true of his funeral sermons, where the heart almost always takes the lead through his homiletic journeys toward resurrection. Keller writes about a dear young man he baptized as an infant who died in early death. He has homilies for both of his well-known parents. He writes about beloved parishioners he presides over the funeral of a talented physician who committed suicide. He preaches on the death of someone he has known since childhood. Keller's sermons simply best represent Frederick Buechner's description of preaching in Telling Secrets. It is to try to put the gospel into words not the way you would compose an essay, but the way you would write a poem or a love letter, putting your heart into it, your own excitement, and most of all, your whole heart. So, think about this book by Chris Keller, Getting On Toward Home. It's just come out this week. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So, now it's time for our prayers. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Vicki is giving thanks for the new food pantry. Victoria asked her prayers for her husband's mother and for her husband so that he'd be able to get to go uh, to her funeral. Uh, Vicki's here. Patricia's here. Christy is asking prayers for Jesse. Just making sure I haven't missed any prayers here. We pray also for the Episcopal Church, for Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, for Michael, our presiding bishop, for Larry, our bishop, and our clergy, Billy, Joanna, Michael, Patricia, Susan, and Stuart. And we pray for our staff and vestry. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Episcopal Church. In our diocese, we pray for St. Albans, 
Seth Gard and St. Peter's Tollville, and for all Episcopal Day schools. We pray for peace and an end to racism, terrorism, oppression, poverty, pollution, persecution. And on our staff, we give thanks and we pray for Karen Blissett, our parish administrator. For our parish ministries, we pray especially for our parish hall ministry. We pray for the safety of first responders, healthcare workers, and those in the military, especially Megan, Sam, Green, Marshall, Garrett. We pray for families expecting children. We pray for all parishioners who are on our uh, prayer list in need and sick or homebound and those commended to our prayers. Cole, Austin, Rachel, Betsy, Greg, Mary Sue, Suzanne, Janet, Adam, Jan, Jim, Amanda, Rusty, Blake, Seal, Trudy, Judy, Scott, the Owens family, Lauren, the Towner Weber family, Barbara, Sean, Fernando, Billy, Becky, Lucy, Nate, Lover, the Wagner family. We give thanks for those celebrating birthdays. Particularly wish happy birthday to Trudy. We give thanks for those celebrating wedding anniversaries and for those who have died, particularly we pray for Maxine. Let's check again to see if by chance there are any other prayers here. Janelle is there. She asked for prayers for strength. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thanks be to God to you for being here with us on this Friday morning. Now Friday afternoon.